Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now, from, from this video onwards, we are going to solve chapter 11 problems. And chapter 11 is related to the virtual work. So, we are, we are having this example from chapter 11. This is the first example. And the example says that determine the angle theta for equilibrium of the two-member linkage shown in figure 11 6a each member has a mass of 10 kg so we are given this uh, system we have this dc link and we have this bc link at the end of this bc link we have the roller support and here we have the pin support so and here we have force of magnitude equal to 25 newton and each link has a length of one meter and has a mass of 10 kg so the weight of each link will be 10 kg times uh, 9.81 so the weight will be 98.1 newtons so the weight of each linkage is 98.1 newtons and since the length of each link is one meter so their corresponding weights will be acting at its mid length so this distance will be 0 0.5 so here this is that dc link this is the free body diagram this is dc and this is the bc and this is that weight of link dc and this is the weight of link uh, bc and they are acting at a distance of 0 0.5 meters so this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.5 and since at point d we have the pin support so we will have dx reaction and we will have dy and at point b we have the roller support so we will have only the vertical reaction by and this is that force f which is going to act in the towards the right so this is given this force has a magnitude of 25 newton remember now since this problem is from chapter 11 which is related to the virtual work so while solving such problems related to the virtual work what we will do is that we will assume some virtual displacement in our mind we will think we will assume that the system is going under some displacement so once we assume that then then there will be an assumed work done so until and unless there is no displacement the work is zero so what we will do the first step will be is that we will assume some virtual displacement we will define the position of this point b relative to some reference point and we will define uh, the position of this particular point where the weights are acting uh, by some variable from some reference point so let's say that this point d is stationary so the position of this point b from this point d will be x b will be defined by a variable x b and towards the right will be the positive x b displacement so now let me write that the position of that point b from d in the in towards the right will be positive x b so this will be let's say positive x b and similarly uh, the distance of this particular point and this particular point where the weights are acting is at a distance of y b so let's say if i draw a line here so from point b this this will be y uh, let's say this is y b or let's say this is only y let's say so let's define that particular point so this is our let's say y displacement in the vertical direction let's say this is y so now the next step will be that we will we want to give some uh, virtual displacement or some angular displacement so let's say if we if we give some angle if we give some angular rotation to this dc link so what will happen that this point c will travel some angular distance and it will come to this particular point so this from here to here we we, we have given some small angular displacement let's say that angular displacement is del theta so this is that del theta and what happens is that this particular point and this particular point they they travel some distance in the vertical direction and in the horizontal direction so initially this point was somewhere here so then it will travel to somewhere here right so and similarly this point traveled some distance and it reached to this particular point so let's say that initially both these points were here and now they are here so what happened is that they covered some vertical displacement so let's say that that they have traveled some small vertical displacement and this displacement is small delta y let's say and similarly what will happen is that when this 
DC link will travel some angular displacement in, uh, delta theta. So what will happen is that this point B will come back. It will move towards the towards the left. And let's say that this will be from here to here. This will be uh, delta x B. So now these are the virtual displacement and and this is actually the whole system is in equilibrium there is no movement but in our head we are thinking that there is some angular displacement now as we can see that this point d is at its original position so there the the work due to dx and dy is zero they are not doing any work so there since the displacement uh, covered by this point d is zero similarly uh, here we can see that this point B is only moving in the horizontal direction. So BY is not going to produce, uh, BY is not doing any work. Since the work, uh, the work done is, is always the work, the force times the displacement covered in the direction of the force. So BY is in this direction and the displacement covered is in this direction. So the work done is will be zero due to this BY. So I will write that the work done due to dx, dy and by is zero. So for dx and dy, the displacement is zero and for by, the displacement is uh, perpendicular. So the work done due to these three forces is zero. Similarly, we will apply the um, virtual work equation. Uh, delta u will be equals to zero. The virtual work for the system will be equals to zero. Since the system is in equilibrium, we want to find that angle theta for which the system will be in equilibrium. We need to write xb in terms of this theta and d theta. So now we can say that xb, the position of point b from point d is equal to so now as we can see that this link has a length of one meter and this link has a length of one meter this is that angle theta so this is this length will be one cos of theta and similarly this length will be one cos of theta so the whole length will be one cos of theta plus one cos of theta so that will be two cos of theta so xb is we can say that xb will be 2 cos of theta and now we want to have delta xb so if i take the derivative of this xb equals to 2 cos of theta so delta xb divided by delta theta so we need to take the derivative of this so now the derivative will be and this will be 2 uh, minus sine of theta since the derivative of cos of theta is minus sine of theta and from this we can say that delta xb is equal to minus 2 sine of theta delta theta and now as we can see that the negative signs tells us that we give if we give the angular displacement in this direction so what will happen is that this point b will move in the di negative direction of xb so this delta xb is negative so this is minus 2 sine of theta delta theta and similarly we need to write this vertical displacement in terms of theta so as we can see that this length is 0 0.5 the weight is acting at 0.5 meters so if this is the right angle triangle and this is theta then this is the sine component so we can write that y will be equal to 0 0.5 sine of theta we have this small triangle like this this is this is 0 0.5 this is the theta and this is that y so this will be 0 0.5 sine of theta so this length is this is 0 0.5 sine of theta and now take the derivative with respect to delta theta so this is 0 0.5 uh, sine of theta is cos of theta and we can say that delta y is 0 0.5 cos of theta delta theta so now this is xb this is y the vertical displacement 
and this is delta x b and this is delta y this is very important now we need to apply the virtual work equation that is delta y equals to zero so now we have the this w this w and this w so let me write that this is w and this is w so the work done is due to these two w's they, they will not come into our equation and this by will not come into our equation so now as we can see that uh, this particular point and this particular point cover the displacement in the positive y direction or we can say that in the direction of this weight so so these two weights are producing the positive work so we will write that plus w delta uh, delta y this is this is one w and this is second w so one w into delta y plus second w into delta y and this force which has a magnitude of uh, 25 newton is producing the negative work the force is in this direction and the displacement covered is in this direction so it is producing the negative work so we will write that let's say i will write plus uh, f delta x b why i am writing here plus since the delta x b is negative so that uh, once we put this delta x b here in the equation so we will get the negative work done due to this force f of magnitude 25 newton so this will be equal to zero we can add up both of these this will be two times so let me write that this will be two times the work done due to these two weights so this is we can write that two times w w is 98.1 newtons delta y so this is delta y which is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 is 1 divided by 2 so i will write 1 divided by 2 cos of theta delta theta this is uh, delta y plus f f has a magnitude of 25 newton and this is delta x b so minus 2 sine of theta delta theta equals to zero these two will cancel out we will have 98.1 cos of theta delta theta and this will become plus into minus minus 25 into 2 is 50 sine of theta delta theta equals to zero we can take delta theta common so we can write it like this we will remove this delta theta the equation will look like this now as we know that delta theta is cannot be equals to zero this is an assumed displacement it must be greater than zero so everything in the brackets is equals to zero so we can write that 98.1 cos of theta minus 50 sine of theta equals to zero and now if i divide this whole equation by cos of theta this will cancel out we will have 98.1 minus 50 tan theta equals to zero and from this we can say that minus 50 tan theta equals to minus 98.1 dividing both sides by 50 so tan theta is equal to 98.1 divided by 50 or we can say that theta is equal to 10 inverse 98.1 divided by 50 this is 98.1 divided by 50 this gives us 62.99 so theta is approximately equals to 63 degrees so when theta is equal to 63 degrees uh, these two members will be in equilibrium they will remain stationary so this is the solution of this particular example i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problem from chapter 11 related to the virtual work by uh, by hibblers